Hello everyone, this is Barka Technical Solution and I am Ferdos Rahman. In this video, we are going to see how to use the software Fritzing. So, Fritzing is an open source software for circuit design and PCB design. So, how to install it? Let us see this first. So, go to any browser and search for Fritzing, F R I T Z I N G, Fritzing, and hit enter and if we scroll down you will see a website called fridzing.org click on it and now you will see some option on the top hit the download option and here we have some options uh, to download this you have to actually donate something to this to the organization but you can actually download it for free if you log in if you create your account and log in to this so here now if I log in to this website now if I go to the download option you will see I have another option called I already paid so now you can actually download it for free so but if you want to donate to this organization for their great work you can actually donate some donate to them so now if we click on this download option you will see the OS option so whatever OS you are using or operating system you are using for me it is windows 64 bit so click on this and you will see it is being downloaded so I have already downloaded it so I do not need this so now let us go and see how we can actually work on this software called Fritzin. Now let us go to our Fritzin software so here it is starting so let us wait for some moment so this is the layout that you will see for the first time if you enter so this is this is the block panel where you can actually read some blocks and there are some projects already done you can use them if you want and this is the fab option so if you design anything or whatever design you can actually order this to them and they will actually build it for you so we don't actually need all this panel so here in this panel this is the recent sketch what you have done so what you will done and if you save something you will can see it here and then there is the new sketch option and open sketch option if you have anything that you have done previously or you have downloaded you can open it from here or you can click this then it will give you a new sketch so if we click the new sketch it will take us to another panel so we don't actually need to do this okay we can just work from this option bar here so here we can see some option called breadboard schematic pcb and code so this is the main portion where you can see a breadboard so we can make our circuit over here whatever you want you can actually put here and make any circuit in just like in real life and whatever you design in this breadboard a schematic for that will also be automatically uh, generated here and you can work with that and as well as a PCB design will also be generated in this in this portion and you can also modify that work with that whatever you want to do and in the code panel we can actually write a bunch of code for the circuit that we have designed and we can upload that code directly to our Arduino that we have connected that we need to connect to our PC so now let's check out the other portion that and one of the most important portion of this software which is called the parts which is on the right side so here in the parts option you can see core so in the core option you can find all the basic equipments inputs outputs ICs microcontrollers and uh, anything basically you need for normally designing any designing any kind of circuit and then there is an option called mine so we will look into that later then we have a option called arduino so here you will have all the arduino boards and shields and everything that arduino has 
then we have the spark fun option and we can find all the spark fun shields sensor and microcontroller boards whatever they have we can find everything here so let's give it a second and there you can see these are the shields here are the sensors and the other microcontroller and boards then we have other brands like seed we have intel here and if you want to use some analog device that is also present this is the analog one and we have also many more brands and parts here so as you can see there are a lot of them so whatever you need you can find here almost everything but now if i go up and there will be option or is the search option so if i search here is yes, like sp32 you can see i don't have anything here or i don't have the sp32 here so what i have to do is now i have to download them from the internet and all of that will be shown in this mine part so mine is like my parts whatever i upload here or import to this software will be shown here so to do that we have to go to here on the top right corner of we have a burger menu and then from import we can import everything but now i have to download them so let's go and see how we can actually download them let's go again to our, into our chrome browser or any internet browser and simply search for whatever you need i need the esp32 freezing part github you can see just write something like this and you will see a bunch of option so from here you can find whatever you need so i mostly need this 38 pin dev kit which i use so let's click on it and here you can see if you don't understand anything from here uh, there is an option download just click on it and it will be downloaded and just make sure that the extension is dot fzpz and that's the one that will work in the freezing so just make sure that and look at the logo so that's all we, have, we need to do here so now let's go to our freezing software again now again we are in our freezing software top right corner burger menu and click import and find out wherever your part has been downloaded for me it's in the downloads here it is just click on it and hit the open and as you can see it will be appearing here there you go so it's in the my mine option or the mine part of our parts menu or the parts drop down menu so and uh, now you can actually search here for esp32 and if i hit enter you will see that this esp32 is now appearing here so if you want to download any other so any other parts that you don't have or that you need you can actually import that just like this so now let's see how we can build and circuit in our freezing sketch so first let's to zoom out a little bit now as you can see we have a full size breadboard but i don't need a full size breadboard so what you can do is first select the breadboard then come here and here as you can see in the size it's called full size full plus so we need half plus so here i have my half plus breadboard and i will be using a arduino uno so let's click on the arduino so here's the arduino uno click and drag to our breadboard and there we have our here we have all our components now let's rotate this arduino and keep it here now i need an i need a led let's go to our core and find the led there is our led just place it anywhere you like i will place it here 
then how can we connect this to so the wire is actually how you can find the wire is click on any pin and just drag to whichever pin you want to drag it to so but first let's tell you something else so which is if you can't understand which one is the positive side or the negative side you can just hover on the legs of the led and you can see this is the anode this uh, oddly shaped one and this straight one is the cathode so this will be our negative so that's why i have connected it to our ground pin and this is the positive so i will connect it to our pin number 13 so just click and drag to wherever you want to take it now how can we change the color of our wire so click on the wire and here as you can see color is blue so i will make it black the anode the cathode will be black and the anode will be red so as, so as you can see our simple diagram is done so now if you want you can add uh, some more stuffs like like you can add a resistor so here is our resistor if I connect it to our negative side so here so now I can just click and drag it to here and this will be our resistor which is connected to the ground pin so here as if you see that these lines are green because it's showing us that these rows are short so you can connect anything to here and they will be all short together so now if we go to a schematic as i have told you before it will automatically generate a schematic for us so here as you can see there is a schematic now i don't know why this happens but maybe this because this is a beta version so these things go everywhere so if I drag them here and rotate this, let's rotate this resistor and place it over here. Now you can click and select and then drag it to anywhere you like. Now if you click and you can actually place this as you like these names or the infos, however you like. So let's keep it here. Now if I click the auto route, auto route option then it will be the wiring will be done automatically as you can see here it's done automatically so you can see that it is done then so if you want you can actually change it as you like. make it look good or better and you can rename everything here just double click and you can rename so for me r1 is ok led1 is ok so this part one is for this this is the arduino uno so that's our schematic so if you go to a pcb same thing it is automatically done so as I've told you this is because it may maybe it is the beta version so this thing happens that this goes everywhere but just click it and drag it to here in this box and there is our Arduino and this is our LED and this is the this is the resistor so just we just rotate it and there we have it now if I click the auto route here then it will also be routed automatically as you can see here and here in the code section we can actually code we can write whatever our code and code is and we can if we write a blink code then you can you can actually blink use that blink code blink code to blink an LED in our Arduino so that I will show you in the next part of this video. So for this part that's all and stay tuned for the next part. So thank you everyone for watching the video.
and please hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe for more videos like this.